This in the top five of customer questions. We love Faramble, but can you get the color mix in a cheaper paint? So today we answer the question, is it a good idea to copy a Faramble color? Hi, I'm Trevor and I own a small decorating company. I like to share our work and what we get up to. We also love to review anything decorating related. This will save you valuable time and money when you're planning your next decorating project. If this sounds like something that would help you, why not hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. There is a reason why quality house builders and developers use Far and Bull, and the answer is quite simple. It sets them apart from their competition and helps them to sell their properties. If I go to visit a customer and they've used Far and Bull in their home, it's one of the first things I'm proudly told, along with the name of the color of the paint they've used. So say for instance, you want to copy Farron Ball's new colour, Sulking Room Pink, in a cheaper brand. Could you be satisfied with the results? We decided to do a little test to see how they compared. In the middle is Farron Ball's new colour, Sulking Room Pink. On the right hand side is a leading trade paint, and on the left hand side is a leading retail paint. The paint on the left was mixed using a recipe, and the colour on the right was mixed using a colour scanned by our local decorators merchants. In my opinion, neither colour is a good match. The one on the left hand side is, is far too washed out and the one on the right hand side, although it looks a lot closer, it still looks flat. Whereas the Farron Ball colour in the middle has a really good depth of colour. If you agree with me, please type yes in the comments. It would be good to know that I'm making sense. This is what you pay the extra money for because when Farron Ball make their paints, they use more of the expensive and quality ingredients like titanium oxide, which helps give their paints the deep, rich colours that customers love. They add less water and binding agents than some trade paint manufacturers use to bulk out their paints. Talking of money, how do the costs compare? Well, if you're wanting to use a trade copy, you're probably looking at around 170 to two pound a square meter. However, if you want to use Farron Ball, it's more likely to be 450 to five pound a square meter. As you can see, there's quite a difference and it could soon add up to a lot of money if you were planning on decorating your whole house in Farron Ball. If we use that good old fashioned word compromise, there are some solutions. So instead of painting your whole house, why not pick a room or two and make them a feature in the Farron Ball colours you love? Or you could just find a colour you like in Farron Ball and make it a feature wall or even a ceiling. Yes, we have done a ceiling and it looks stunning. What have we learnt? Well, in all honesty, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. If you want the Farron Ball colour, then it's really going to have to be Farron Ball prices you pay. If you want something close and you're happy, then buy a trade paint. At the end of the day, it's horses for courses. If you feel like you know a little bit more now than you did a few minutes ago, why not go ahead, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and then we'll let, you'll be notified when we upload our next video. So until next time, take care. Speak to you soon. Pick up like a cup, bye. Let's not get ambitious. No. Hit the subscribe. I can't say subscribe. <laughs> Question is in the top five of customer questions we get asked all the time. We love too many questions. <laughs> this question is a question of a question of five questions. For a question. Do you want a question? I'll give you a question right.